Hey guys, thought I'd do a review of the Starlight Dragonfly Ultra High Power IR Illuminator, which is a laser, not a conventional torch. Uh, these cost 200 quid for the torch alone, or for 250 pounds you can buy the kit. And the only difference between the kit and the torch by itself is that the kit comes complete with a mounting bracket which fits the uh, weaver style rail and you get a charger and a battery this thing here my recommendation first off off the bat would be buy the torch by itself now the simple fact for that is um, that the one that it comes supplied with does the job you can adjust it windage elevation so that when it's mounted top or on the side profile as I have it then you can uh, get the spot dead center in the uh, in your side picture um, the downside to this bracket is I'm not too sure why but it has this sort of quick release uh, mechanism on it which allows it to flick up 90 degrees that in itself means that there's quite a bit of play in it uh, and I found that that means that sometimes and occasionally it, it tends to drift. So, for that reason, I bought the same sort of bracket, but this one is a Nightmaster branded one. Two benefits to this. Number one is, um, it's a better quality bracket. You can adjust the windage and elevation uh, with a simple thumb screw. Once you've got it perfect, you can also lock it in place as well with an Allen key. And the major feature with this one though is you can actually remove it. It's got a quick release tie down screw. Uh, so that means you can take the torch off. That one doesn't. So when it's on, essentially it's on and it's a bit of a pain in the backside, keep taking it off. So. Uh, unless they introduce this style of uh, bracket all of a sudden with the Starlight, I would recommend you get uh, forego that. Pay just 200 quid for the torch, not 250, and buy one of those separately. That was 40 quid. And then I also already had really a charger. I just thought, you know, maybe the, the, the bracket or the kit would be a good idea. But in hindsight, I would have saved myself 50 quid because I already had plenty of batteries, etc. Uh, but that's a much better bracket. So that's. Uh, Point number one made. Point number two, when you get it, it comes installed with one of these, uh, a safety filter or a filter that goes over and it's held in place with this ring. Um, you want to remove that uh, because you'll see a hell of a lot further. But you do not, must never and should never look directly in that end, the business end of the torch uh, because you will damage your eyes. One other point as well is it comes with uh, these two plastic caps as well they just help pad out um, the torch for when you put it on your bracket but I have wound round just a couple of times some insulation tape uh, around there and I find that that holds that actually on very nicely centre uh, and away you go it's one single battery uh, and it tends to last quite a good while although it does deplete even if the battery sorry even if the torch is turned off so just to note that um, so when it's not in use so if you go out lamping one night and you want to go out the very next evening you need to take the battery out of the torch um, so you've got use of it the next evening in between uh, shooting because otherwise the, uh, the battery will uh, deplete um, and it doesn't take that long for that to happen um, this the end part of the torch, like to many torches, <clears throat> the same sort of uh, system when you twist the end cap you can concentrate the beam. And what I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, I've already been out uh, and tested it over a couple of times, a bit awkward because it's been foggy on a couple of occasions, but what I have managed to do is now get some footage of me shooting foxes through my night sight Wolf Artec and you can see a significant difference when you turn this on versus when you turn it off, uh, even if the foxes are only up to a couple of hundred yards away. Um, I've measured this, the field that I've tested this on uh, and it came out at 679 yards. I could see the whole way across that and that's a significant distance. That's further than anyone's really going to need to see when they're out lamping. Um, would I recommend this uh, product to a friend? Yeah, I actually we actually bought two of these, myself and uh, one of my shooting buddies. Um, he put it on his spotter and he says it's a phenomenal piece of kit. It is, it's well made. 
um, the switch is good, unlike other torches I had in the past where you get dodgy switches etc etc. The one downside, and this is probably Starlight, something they really need to work on there because you could really take a, a leaf out of Night's Eyes book here. And that's just a customer service. When you order it, you will hear plenty of reports of it takes three, four weeks to turn up. I'm not quite even sure why that is. They're made in the UK, so they should be able to get them out on time. But it seems to be a bit of an afterthought. So Starlight, book your ideas up a bit, treat your customers a bit better. I'm sure you'll sell many, many more of these. Um, I'm going to use it. You'll see this appear in, in pretty much all of my up and coming videos. Uh, I've no doubt now that shooting season's about to start, um, we're going to be out plenty. Um, that's it, stay safe, happy hunting. Two down.